Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll see string methods in Python. In the previous section, when I have demonstrated file operations, I have used a string method called casefold for caseless comparison. I was trying to match with the string parameter with all these file names and it was not matching with this particular file because this is having capital P. When I did casefold, it was able to match it. Similar way I have used R strip for removing slash n from one of the output and all the other places for username password and commands we were using strings now we will look into some of the commonly used string methods for that I'll create a string here username equal to admin1 and if you want to see all the supported methods we can print dir of username i'll try running this and here we should be able to see all the methods supported and here we can see case fold count encode ends with and index lower all this even we can see the r strip and all whatever we have seen earlier so we will look into some of those string methods first we'll see what is capitalize i'll comment this dir i'll do a print of username dot capitalize so this is returning the first character capital letter if you want to see the details about that you can click on capitalize press ctrl b and this will take us to the default built-ins of python and here we can see the description this returns the capitalized version of the string and this makes first character uppercase and case fold will convert this into small small letter all the characters for caseless comparison we can verify that as well username dot case fold and i'll give capital a here end also i'll give capital n if you try running this this will convert into small letter now we'll see one more use case print username dot center and i'll give 20 character and we'll print one more additional string here so that we can see the spacing and here we can see this is adding additional spaces in between and it is centering with 20 spaces and you can see in this documentation so this will return a centered string with the length what we defined and now we'll see a very small use case here we will prompt user to give a username and we'll try to match it with this particular username so i'll create a variable user input equal to input enter username and if user input matches with username later we'll do some additional formatting here like we'll do some kind of string methods we'll do a print formatted string input then the user given input matched else we will do a print not matched and here first I will give case fold and I will try running this and now I will give admin1 so it is matching that means it is taking it is doing a caseless comparison now imagine if user is giving 
couple of spaces then admin after that also user is adding some space it will not match if you want to match that we need to use strip if you go to the documentation we can see here so this will remove leading and trailing white spaces from the string so now we'll try running this i'll add spaces here admin one space so now it is matching now if i want to accept imagine if user is giving capital a spaces d one if i want to accept this what we can do is we can use replace method and in replace what we need to do is we need to replace space with a non-space character now if we try running this and i'll give capital a spaces d m i n 2 and after that also i'll add some space So here I'm I have given admin 2 so I need to give admin 1 capital A after some spaces I'll give 1 so that is also getting matched here so this is one small example of the string method and in the next section also we will continue with string methods.